Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about the word drip irrigation. Drip irrigation, which is also being called as trickle irrigation. It's trickle, T R I C K L E, trickle irrigation or micro irrigation or localized irrigation localized irrigation and the reason being given to call them with this name is trickle as this type of irrigation means here the drop of water is being trickled trickled down from the ground towards the roots or micro as it it works in a micro area or localized as it's done in a local area just to give you a glimpse uh, here is a photograph and also I have created a picture here here it is a plant a small plant this this is the shoot area the shoot area which is above the ground and this is the root area the root and as we all know that it's only the roots it's only the root which requires water which requires water and not the shoot directly because whatever uh, water amount uh, the shoot requires that comes via the roots via the roots and even if we provide water from the above it it doesn't matter to the shoot it it has it, it won't be requiring it okay so on this particular principle this drip irrigation method also works so no matter what amount of water that you provide here or from the above only that amount is required which which is being given to the roots area in this particular irrigation that is the drip irrigation we require a narrow tube here you can see a narrow tube here it's a black color tube it this tube has a small hole inside and if you see here the here it it is a drop it's a drop of water being percolated drop by drop and this area this is the outer edge let, let me let me change the color let me change the color this is the outer edge it's being wetted by this drop and this is the only thing that's being required because the root system inside this the root system which is inside this is require the, this water which is being wetted and nothing else so need not require water to be provided from the top and this is the whole field just an example of the whole field being percolated by irrigated by this particular method so here what you see is drop by drop all these plants all these plants here here or anywhere they being they being irrigated and there's no loss of water so in this sense we can simply say drip irrigation is a method of irrigation that saves water that saves water that saves water that saves fertilizers fertilizers that saves manpower that saves manpower energy and many other things and it's being done slowly to the roots of the plant this irrigation is being done slowly to the roots of the plant and it's either onto the onto the soil surface it's onto the soil surface or below the soil surface below the soil surface in that case we will put a pipe or we'll just dig this pipe inside inside this ground let's move further and see the other ways how drip irrigation works what if a farmer just put some fertilizers fertilizers in the water in the water being provided so from the tap which which is getting the which is getting the water we just mix some fertilizers some uh, some uh, soluble fertilizers in water and provide this then it will be called as it will be called as fertigation Ferti, F E R T I G A T I O N, fertigation, where ferti comes from fertilizers and gation comes from irrigation. So ferti plus fertigation simply means fertilizers plus irrigation equals fertigation. And similarly, there's another word called as 
कैमिगेशन 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 वेयर वी एड अदर कैमिकल्स विद द वॉटर टू बी प्रोवाइडेड फॉर इरीगेशन हेयर इन दिस वे द केमिकल्स कुड बी पेस्टिसाइड्स और एनी अदर सोडिबल मटीरियल टू बी प्रोवाइडेड टू दी प्लांट्स हेयर इफ यू जस्ट समराइज other way and yes one more thing that i just forgot uh for the drip irrigation requires certain kind of equipments if we have a smaller field let's say your kitchen garden you only require a pipe a narrow pipe or if you have a large field large field as in farmers are working they may require from a, a simple pipe to several other equipments like a network of pipes or a tubing or emitters or or fitters pressure gauges and many other things depending on the size and type of their plants and requirements and the laying of pipe can also be seen here being being an easy method the pipes can be laid either in a straight row as if it's a big field that we we see in this photograph here in in this big big field it's it's a, it's a field in kolar in karnataka in india here the pipes are being laid straight here you can say it's the main pipeline this is the main pipeline and the intermediaries the, the distributaries are being laid on both the sides or this is another field it's a small field where uh, it's not leveled you can say so depending on the contours depending on the contours the inlay has been done here you can see the pipes are being inlaid depending on the contours it's it more or less here in a circular pattern but it could be any other shape also and if we have a kitchen garden let's suppose or we have different kind of uh, different variety of uh, trees or plants we can also lay our plants Uh, i'm sorry we can also lay our pipes of this drip irrigation in desired manner here we can see it's a circular pattern here we we can see it's a straight way which is going towards the kitchen garden the normal you you may have flowers or you may have potted plants or branches anything you you can have this this pipe and lay depending on your your needs so it's quite flexible method in other sense if we say drip irrigation we can have several advantages being a popular method nowadays it's just because it has several advantages drips advantages drips advantages let let's let's talk about the very famous one and very very regular thing that we usually see the farmers usually look for the first thing is it has fertilizer fertilizer and nutrient nutrient loss being minimized fertilizer plus nutrient loss minimized other one is water conservation as it requires very limited water so it it goes for water conservation conservation as it reduces it reduces evaporation it reduces evaporation being done on the ground surface and also it reduces the deep drainage deep drainage because usually when we provide water via a mug or bucket or or the flooding method water goes deep inside the ground so that's being avoided here other advantage we, we can say with drip drip uh, irrigation is it reduces the energy cost it reduces the energy cost energy cost because in other methods of irrigation we require pump sets or gen sets uh, which are required which which are required to operate at higher pressures and here in this drip drip irrigation the pressures are not of that need only lower pressures can can govern the whole system other way we can see is drip irrigation also helps in weed control weed control as water do not go anywhere else except from the desired area of the root and the plant so as it doesn't go anywhere else so it doesn't allow weeds to grow 
so that's that it also goes for weed control it also goes for soil erosion uh, its control of soil erosion erosion as no water flow no flood no floods are coming no it, it doesn't take anywhere that the soil which is there with the plant is will always be with the plant it won't go anywhere so no no uh, no erosion of soil other thing that we can see is recycling of non potable water or other or we can say the recycled non potable water can be safely used recycled recycled non potable water potable water can be safely used can be safely used safely used as otherwise that water can go anywhere and also the fields with irregular shapes the fields with irregular shapes irregular shapes as we have seen in the picture above even the irregular shapes can accommodate this kind of system even if we have different contours on the fields unlevel field or we require um, irrigation to be given at different areas in different ways then all those things can be governed here a field with ir irregular shape can also be checked with drip irrigation system so these are certain advantages that we that we can attach with ir drip irrigation system now let us see what are the disadvantages the disadvantages this advantages or limitations disadvantages or limitations with drip irrigation system uh the biggest thing is as it requires a lot of equipments we can simply say it is an expensive system the initial cost at least is expensive expensive system expensive as it requires all those tubes and equipments as we have discussed above other thing is sun can affect the tubes sun the heat of the sun it affects the tube it affects the tubes so if we don't have a good quality tube it it will get uh, it won't be with for a longer time duration it they, they won't be of the life of the tubes will decrease other thing that we see is rodents can affect the rats that that we usually find in the fields they may affect the tubes and they may bite it or the salinity yes now this is something to be uh, seen here the salinity salinity usually in the surface irrigation system that we that the farmers are doing from ages where where they just put water and, and provide that to the plants here the, as the water is being given only to the plant let us see here as the water is being given only to the roots so the sal salinity in the water just gets accommodated nearby and goes nowhere else goes nowhere else as in the surface irrigation system it moves out or it comes towards the surface but here it only moves down or just remains nearby towards the root so here this is a disadvantage in the longer run you may have soil salinity nearby the roots other thing that we see is if water is not properly filtered as we see here is a pipe with with a hole if the water is not filtered there may be clogging there may be clogging and the hole may not work properly so these are certain disadvantages that we see but overall if uh, all the farmers nowadays are being are being uh, looking for drip irrigation system as it is quite uh, quite better for them it pro provides several advantages and several profit areas i hope this was quite enough for drip irrigation and in the next video we will be talking about something else pertaining to the irrigation system itself have a good day ahead take care bye bye